hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to have you back today for another reading i hope that you're doing amazing and having an amazing week so for today's reading we will be looking into the topic of um actually today's reading is kind of going to be like a mysterious reading so i I'm, I'm not really looking in any particular topics we're just going to see what kind of message you need to hear today you need to receive so it's kind of like a mysterious message that you need to hear today okay so we have three piles to choose from today we have pile number one pile number two and pile number three please feel free to choose any pile that you feel most drawn to and then you can skip to the timestamps which are in the description and i will see you guys at your reading hello my beautiful pile number one if you guys chose this pile then this is going to be your reading today about your mystery message that you need to receive today so we're going to begin by shuffling your cards pile number one if you want to skip this part then there will be a timestamp for you so let's see what is the mystery message that needs the pile number one needs to receive today's spirit what does pile number one need to hear today what is their mystery message let's see i'm kind of feeling this one already what is pile number one's mystery message spirit okay let's get one more let's get this one okay we have your tarot cards let's get your oracles now pile one what is the mystery message that you need to hear today mystery message that pile number one needs to hear today okay let's see what is the mystery message for pile one spirit oh i feel like taking this one okay let's get some from this deck as well mystery message for pile number one i'm kind of feeling your energy is very light today i don't know why let's see let's get some from here mystery message for pile number one and this deck pile number one spirit mystery message pile number one okay let's get these two and to end your reading let's get you an angel message pile one what is the mystery message that is meant to find you today let's get this one okay we have your cards now let's begin with your reading pile number one so as your card here you guys chose the oh sunny day card i'm hearing there are good days ahead of you i heard that very strongly it's like it's like you guys are looking forward to the future regarding something i'm hearing i'm also seeing like the ladybugs which are oftentimes like represented like good luck and i'm also hearing that there's like this uh saying from where i'm from um it's like if you find a ladybug, there's like this kind of like song that we, that we sing. It's kind of like a few sentences, but we kind of say that like um, when you find a ladybug, it will bring you like um, guests, like good people in your life. So that it's reminding me of that as well. So I feel like uh, there is a lot of good things coming your way is what I'm hearing. I feel like your future is looking really good, really bright. And you might be meeting some very positive people. Some some people that will influence your life in a positive way is what I'm hearing, Pile 1. Um, but let's take a look at your tarot cards and the rest of your cards so we can get your message. So for your first tarot card, you guys have compromise with the Six of Pentacles. Okay, you have aloneness with the hermit. Okay, that's interesting. Because I was talking that you will be meeting some people. So with the hermit, maybe you have been alone alone for a long time. You have ice isolation. Ice yeah, that's I guess isolation, three of swords. Wow, that's very interesting. You have exhaustion with the nine of wands. 
and you also have consciousness this is the ace of swords i believe in this deck so I, i'm seeing here pile number one i feel like the message that you need to receive is that there are brighter days ahead of you regarding your relationships that's kind of what i'm getting here from your cards i feel like you you will come across people soon that are going to resonate with you maybe before you dealt with people who betrayed you um this card with compromise the six of pentacles is not about this usually but um the energy that i'm getting from this card specifically is maybe you've dealt with friends or people in your life that used to gossip a, a lot about you um or like they were being kind of fake and maybe behind behind your back they were saying some other things okay that's kind of what i'm hearing here but i feel like you guys decided to cut this out of your life it was like i feel like this is regarding people in your life it could be something else as well but um it, it felt like your feelings were being like you had to compromise all the time or you had to please people all the time um in order to kind of maintain this relationship or this connection and it really made you feel exhausted and heartbroken and kind of feeling betrayed but i'm hearing that you guys decided to cut this out of your out of your life with the ace of uh swords it's like consciousness it's like you were you kind of you finally kind of came to the consciousness came to the terms of the situation and you decided to cut it out of your life so i'm seeing that you guys are leaving something behind that kind of left you feeling betrayed and hurt and um that maybe there was some dishonesty here as well and i feel like you're turning your back right we see actually this woman has her back turned on something so and with the umbrella it feels like you're protecting yourself so it feels like to me like you have turned your back on something in order to protect yourself to protect yourself from further uh heartbreak further pain further betrayal and i feel like the future that you have kind of turn yourself towards it's a lot brighter and i see that the people that will be coming in your life soon will be a lot more faithful a lot more loyal um more communicative with you but i overall see that you guys turned your back if you don't resonate with the message of like people then this could be just anything in your life that caused you to feel pain and betrayal and exhaustion and like you constantly had to compromise your feelings your comfort regarding something i feel like you guys are some of you might be choosing to go alone to go your separate ways regarding something but either way the energy is that you guys have turned your back on on this and now you're kind of looking you turn your back to protect yourself right and you're looking forward to the future which i see there's a lot of sun there's a lot of sunshine a lot of luck that comes with it but let's take a look at your oracles pile one so we can get a better message here yeah you guys have faith i'm hearing you guys chose yourself okay and you also have assessing yeah assessing yeah it's interesting you have assessing it's kind of, and consciousness it's like you're seeing the situation as is like you're assessing the situation you have assessed the situation you have you have kind of finally uh found out the truth maybe regarding something or like you're finally have it in your consciousness in your brain like oh this is how it is and i need to cut this out i need to turn away from a situation it feels to me and you're turning away with faith that you're making the right decision it feels like it's like you're having faith that what you're doing is is right for you and for your future okay that's what i'm getting here it's like you're choosing yourself in a situation you're not compromising your comfort anymore and your feelings anymore just to please other people and to don't hurt their feelings because i see that that has been uh kind of making you feel exhausted in a way because you're constantly so, like compromising your own comfort for to make other people happy maybe before you were in the mindset of like what are people expecting of me right 
maybe you you said that to yourself because I just heard that very strongly. Like what what do they expect of me is what I'm hearing. And I feel like you guys are like finally like kind of focus on yourself with this woman. I feel like she's very into herself. Um, there's that energy of nurture. I'm getting very strong empress energy from this card. So it feels like you guys are turning your back on on these situations that were keeping you exhausted and like kept you compromising your own comfort for their sake and i feel like you guys are deciding to work on yourself right follow your own dreams follow your own direction it feels like yeah okay let's see your other cards you have teeth yeah so there was like a dishonest energy in your past and i feel like you guys are finally like you're starting to realize it, right? You're not letting it slide anymore. You're not compromising it anymore. Um, I, I'm hearing it's um, not worth the sacrifice. So there is that energy that you guys are com compromising your comfort. That's what I keep hearing. You're compromising your comfort or you were to, to please other people or to, do to don't cause any arguments, to don't cause discomfort to other people but to me it feels like you're finally turning your back on that and you're like you're assessing the situation where you're seeing the situation as it is maybe you're seeing it from a higher point of view you're kind of being the bigger person in the situation and you're able to kind of see maybe why uh these people or this situation happened the way it did and it's like um I feel like there's always a reason if you're especially if you're dealing with people there's always a reason as to why they acted some certain way and it, it it really helps if you're able to see the situation from their perspective that again doesn't make it right from their side and it doesn't like it doesn't approve of how they have treated you but it kind of gives you an explanation to like Okay, I see what they did, what they did. It's not okay, of course, but I see kind of why they did it. And it, it kind of makes it like more comfortable for you, at least in my experience. So I feel like you guys are finally starting to see the situation as to maybe why these people acted the way they did. And you're kind of like deciding to just leave them behind, right? Again, it doesn't make it right. If you, uh, some people disrespected you, it doesn't make it right. Um, not at all, but you kind of get to see as to maybe why they did it and what was their mindset behind it. Okay, let's see your other cards here. You guys have strength and resilience. Yeah, look at this. You guys are like, you guys are so strong. I feel like you're dealing with the situation here very well. It's like you're, you, it might be a period where things are a bit turbulent for you with all of this wind right and kind of like the the energy might be a little bit right uncertain and maybe chaotic or like uh how do i say this yeah like there is like this energy of there might be a lot of things going on but i feel like you guys are dealing with it very properly and very maturely is what i'm hearing and you have a lot of strength and resilience um and it might take a lot of energy and strength for you to turn away from the situation but at the end of the day it feels like you guys know that this is like the the only way out the only way for you to be happy is what i'm hearing and you also have gratitude and thanks yeah look at this you guys are gonna be like so vibrant in the future is what i'm seeing like it feels like you will finally have time to regenerate your energy and it's like you will be glowing you will seem a lot happier i feel like your energy is going to become lighter it's going to become more pleasant um you will be smiling a lot more around and especially around springtime right we just transition into springtime so it feels like this is happening for you guys now i see i just see that there is much brighter days ahead of you from what there was in the past because you guys have turned your back on something in order to protect yourself so i see you in the future just really 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 like paying so much attention to yourself 
and treating yourself and the way that you feel like caring about the way that you feel and not compromising anymore um your feelings and because of that you're going to become so much happier so much more more vibrant you will start to notice that you have so much more energy to do the things that you want look at this look at how much contrast there is in these two images it's like you're here like you're you're in the middle of like a storm and you're standing up for yourself you're speaking up for yourself and then in the future i just see you being surrounded by so much joy feeling extremely happy okay i'm hearing for some of you if you feel like you cannot be happy on your own that is totally not true i feel like you're the happiest when you are alone i i really feel like it's important for people to uh, to learn how to be happy um with themselves and being alone and kind of um see other people as like like an addition to your life and not like you are dependent on a person is what i'm hearing here a time to give rather than take wow i feel like springtime oh sorry springtime is going to give a lot to you is what i'm hearing um with this like flower crown here we see both of them are wearing it right so i feel like during springtime you guys will experience a very like Springtime will bring in a lot of light-hearted, light-hearted energy. It will bring in a lot of pleasurable energy for you. And it will be a time where you will just give a lot to yourself, okay? Because you have here, uh, it's time to give rather than take. So always with this card I'm getting, it's like the universe is not going to take anything away from you now. Because... It's time for you to receive. It's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to get good energy and good gifts is what I'm hearing here. And you also have don't let your past hold you back. Yeah, oh my god. Just as I was saying your entire reading, it feels like you guys are turning yourself back on the past. You're, you're not uh, letting yourself uh, with teeth. Thief, not teeth. Sorry. <laughs> Thief. English is not my first language, so sometimes I can get the words mixed up. But with thief, there is that little like tricky energy, right? Um, trickery. And maybe that was there present in your past. But I'm hearing you guys are not going to let people trick you anymore into compromising yourself, into compromising your feelings and suffocating yourself. For the pleasure of them you're not gonna let people manipulate you anymore you're not gonna listen to them anymore it's like you guys are done now it's like you're standing up for yourself and you're choosing to protect yourself in a situation here that's the kind of like the main message that i'm seeing here in your reading today and this is going to be the right thing for you guys because you guys are gonna end up being so happy and like you're you're gonna get such like a glow on your face is what i'm hearing maybe you will spend more time like visiting the spa or getting uh, treatments or just going on dates by yourself it doesn't matter what you do as a self-care thing um, maybe it's taking up like I don't know dance classes or just any kind of classes something that you enjoy something that brings you joy and that will reflect on your appearance as well it feels like you guys are getting like a glow in your future like the, your appearance are gonna be glowing is what I'm hearing um, yeah, look at this regeneration. I, I just, I said the exact same thing. That you guys are going to be regenerating your energy, getting your energy back, getting your happiness back here um, in the near future. So I'm seeing that things are going to be looking up for you, palm number one. Wow, look at this, between worlds. So yeah, with regeneration and between worlds, it's like you're in the middle of leaving something behind, turning your back on something and changing your world right it's like you're going from black to colorful so uh it really confirms the whole message that i've been saying your entire reading so i really feel like for you guys you're choosing to protect yourself from things or other people and you're choosing your own happiness here and this is going to bring so much pleasure in your life so much energy in your life so many pleasant things in your life so many more Pleasant people in your life is also what I'm hearing, okay? 
Let's take a look at your angel message, poll number one. You have a raise or a promotion. Wow, look at this. I love to see this for you. Congratulations. An increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. So that's really good. Look at this mysterious message. is coming in to tell you that you might be getting a, a raise or a promotion or there might be like um, something taking off for you regarding your career. Maybe this is something where other people told you that you couldn't do and now you're like showing up that you can actually do this and that you had it in you the entire time. So as I mentioned, bright days are ahead of you and with this raise or a promotion card, I feel like especially in your career, there are good, thing, good things coming your way and there's an increase of course in your abundance as we saw in your message. So I love this for you, pile number one. I hope that this resonated with you. If it didn't, please leave a like and a comment and I hope to see you guys in my next reading. Bye guys! Hello my beautiful pile number two. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be a reading today on your mysterious message that you need to receive and hear today. So let's begin by shuffling your pile, pile number two. If you want to skip this part, then the timestamps are in the description. Okay, so let's see what is the mysterious message for pile number two, spirit. What does pile number two need to hear today? Oh, that card flew out right away for you. Okay, let's see. Pile two, spirit. What is the message meant for pile number two today? What do you want to tell them? Let's see. What do you need to hear, Pile 2? I'm feeling this card. Okay, let's get this one as well. Pile 2 and this one. Okay, so we have your tarot cards. Let's see your oracles now, Pile 2. What is the mysterious message that is meant to find you today? Pile 2. What message does pal number two need to receive today? I'm kind of getting exciting energy with you. Uh, I feel like there's like a surprise or good news here for you, pile two. That's kind of what I'm feeling, but let's see. Ooh. Mm, I'm just going to take that one, I feel. Okay. Okay, let's see. What is What message do you need to hear today? I am getting like, I'm hearing big news for you. I don't know why, but let's see, pile two. What is the message meant to find you today? Pile two, spirit. What message do you want to tell to pile two? Let's see. Pile number two. Like these two. Okay, and to end your reading, let's get you an angel message. What message does pile number two need to hear today, spirit? What is the mysterious message? Okay, let's get this one for you. Great, so we have your cards now, pile two, and we can get into your message. I'm super excited. So, as your card, you guys chose here the Touch the Sky card. So this is like news from heaven is what I'm hearing. News from the sky, news from heaven. Or some of you might be reaching like a... You might be kind of like uh, reaching the top, it feels like, and then you're looking down on the other people so to me it feels like you will uh climb the ladder i'm seeing stairs so it's like you're you're reaching for the top you will be upgraded is what i'm hearing um there is that energy with level up with you pile number two uh or i'm also getting again like a message from this from heaven a message from the from the universe with this card but i'm hearing that you will be very satisfied with something I feel like this girl looks very satisfied to me and very grateful. So 
I feel like there will be that energy of you feeling satisfied. But let's see your tarot cards and oracles so we can get your message for today. So firstly, you have change. Wow. Okay, that's really good to see. That's the wheel card, by the way. You have the four of pentacles, the miser. Miser, I hope that's how you pronounce it. Huh. Look at this. So much gold and jewelry here. So much abundance. And then you before that, you had change. So it feels like there will be a change in your finances here is what I'm seeing. Courage with strength. You have conditioning. And for your last card, you guys have politics. Seven of swords. Very interesting energy, pile number two, that I'm getting here from you. I'm hearing that you will be breaking through, okay? I see that there will be... Okay, there will be... Okay, you're standing out. Yeah, that's the message I'm getting. You're going to be standing out here um, in a really good way. In a way where it's like you see this whole field of sheep, right? And there is the lion in the middle. And to me, it feels like you guys are going to be standing out in a really good way where people are going to be really, really impressed by you, Okay um your your uniqueness is gonna stand out that's that's what i'm picking up your uniqueness is gonna stand out because you're not like the other people pile too you're very different from other people yeah wow this is a very powerful message maybe your entire life you have been a rule breaker or a rebel and you always went against the rules you always um stayed authentic to yourself no matter how how many people try to maybe discriminate you i see that with courage um in the past i feel like throughout your life you had to be very resilient you had to be you always had to stay true to yourself because you always knew it that one day it will pay off is what i'm hearing with the politics and the seven of swords to me i'm getting this that like a lot of people are talking about you, pal number two. Uh, maybe, in maybe you've dealt with this in the past, where people like constantly gossip about you, and you maybe hear them, and you kind of know that maybe people used to laugh at you, or laugh about you, or laugh at your uniqueness, your authenticity. But now it kind of like comes to a point where you you become. I, I, I want to say famous for your uniqueness but of course if you don't want to be famous then it's just going to be that you become recognized for your uniqueness maybe it's a skill it's something in your appearance but it feels like you guys are very different from the rest of the people and it's you're finally going to be recognized for your uniqueness and i see that there is going to be people maybe coming in from your past maybe even trying to be your friends now is what i'm hearing maybe the people who used to like laugh at you are coming back now in your life it feels like because i see that you're gaining a lot of attention you're breaking through you're breaking through in an area where a lot of people thought that it will be impossible for you with the with the strength card i always get you're breaking through concrete it almost feels like people are gonna think like like how did that person do it it doesn't make sense right it doesn't make sense, but there is going to be, there's a big change coming in your life, Paul, too. This is going to be a major change that will be happening in your life. And you're going to get something that a lot of people want is also what I'm hearing. So you will receive, you will be blessed with something that a lot of people desire, a lot of people want. And maybe this will also cause some gossip around you. But there is that energy that people will be jealous of you because you are... It's like you're the center of attention regarding a matter and people will be jealous is what I'm hearing. But let's see your oracles because really interesting energy here for you. It's like, again, it's like you're looking up in the clouds. Like, is, you know, um, how do I say this? It's like you, you've you reached the top, right? With this touch the sky. You're reaching your dreams. You have reached the top and now you're looking down on the people who used to doubt at you. 
and you're just like smiling like look at me i did it that's kind of like what i'm getting here from your energy um pile two you have changed oh, look at this you have changed twice this is going to be so powerful. Look at this. Look at how powerful this image is. And again, do you notice like the whole card is gray, but then there is this red color. Again, here the whole image is white and gray, but the lion is red, orange. So it really is that you guys are standing out. It's like you're, um, we see this woman is pushing the moon. She's doing something impossible, right? Something that requires so much strength and resilience and courage is she's doing something that's impossible so it feels like again it confirms the message that you guys are breaking through an area where it almost seems impossible for you where maybe the odds were against you right i feel like you're really gonna show people who you really are you're really gonna be like recognize your pile to pleasure didn't I say this in the beginning? Oh my god. I said you're gonna be you're gonna be very satisfied. Yeah, that's what I said. You're gonna be very satisfied, very pleased with something. Just confirms what I've been saying. So there is something really good happening here for you, pile number two. A very good change. A change where you are the center of attention and where you stand out. You stand out from the rest of the crowd. And you're gonna become very popular for this um you're gonna become very known for this it's like you're i'm hearing revolution okay so or like you're uh, the best way i can describe it is you know when people start a trend you're kind of like the one who started the trend you're kind of like the trendsetter so you're doing something very big here main female look at this you're gonna be the center of attention right with the main female you're the main character you're the main female even if you're a male, it doesn't matter. You're still the main, the main, the main character. That's how I want to put this. That's how I always perceive this card. You are becoming the main character. For a lot of you, this is going to be something like public recognition is what I'm feeling. Um, your name is going to be known. People are going to know about you. Maybe in the field that you're working in, you're going to become very popular. Um, let's say... Um, I don't know. The first thing that came to my mind is maybe like a plastic surgeon. So, uh, you know, just apply to how this resonates to your situation. But you know how sometimes there's like plastic surgeons who become very famous in their field or hairdressers who become very famous on Instagram or in their field, right? That's kind of what it feels like. Like you're becoming very good at what you're doing. You're becoming known for what you're doing. And popular for what you're doing is what I'm feeling here, pile number two. But this is a really big change coming in your life. Very big change. And it's a good one with pleasure, right? It's a good change. Wow, look at this. You have meditation for creativity. A lot of you might be artists here, right? And your art is becoming popular. What you're putting out in the world is becoming really popular, Again, the trendsetter, I mentioned that you're something that you are creating from scratch. You're not following trends, pile number two. You're creating from your own craft, from your own hand, your own wisdom. This is going to become very popular. And you also have affirmations for healing the heart. I feel like uh, this heart is... I always get very heartwarming energy from this card. And... To me, I always get a lot of loyalty from this card as well. So I'm kind of connecting this with what I say in the beginning, like a message from heaven. It feels like your spirit guides, your angels, your God, whoever you believe in, they're sending you this card as a sign of like, they're loyal to you and they're loyal to your dreams. They're, they're always there for you to help you reach your goals and your dreams is what I'm seeing here. And if you guys are on the way to create something, to put something out in the world, and you want to be really become really popular for it, very recognized, you want to be famous, rich, and popular is what I'm hearing, then you will be getting that. You will be the main character regarding something. The energy is gaining momentum. Look at this. Something that you guys are creating it's gaining momentum. 
it, it it's building up and building up and building up until it bursts exactly with this card here how the flower was going growing from the concrete there's the energy it's suppressed it's suppressed it's suppressed but it finally bursts through so what you guys are creating you're you're on the right way what you guys are creating is gaining momentum it's getting look at this your hard work is paying off wow i just love how the tarot cards are so connected and it at this point it doesn't even surprise me but something that you're working really hard on is gaining momentum is gaining energy and it's gonna blow up it's gonna blow up pile number two and you're gonna be at the top in the clouds right sitting and looking at down at the people who always like maybe maybe you were dealing with bullying in school uh, maybe you were dealing with people who constantly try to convince you that you cannot achieve your dreams but you said no because you decided to not follow the crowd you decided to be the black sheep right in this case the lion we notice the sheep here but instead of a black sheep we have a lion which is such a powerful animal right it, there's the king so you're the king Paul too is what it feels like very beautiful energy no place like home look at this again a home in the sky wow look at this so beautiful maybe you will be moving to a place that feels like it's home um or you will feel so much peace in your future because you finally made it home it feels like you finally made it to where you were striving to be right maybe uh, it's like again you have your touch touch the sky and then no place like home and this home is in the sky right it's in the clouds so it feels like you're you're making your way home to the sky to to where you've always wanted to be where you've always strived to be and i feel like this is around your goals and your career so, um you have been working really hard and you're gonna finally make it to that place where you've always wished to be TikTok, it's a guys this is gonna happen so fast so fast look at this this is like a overnight overnight type blow up right you have been working for this prior so much working so hard but your blow up is going to be overnight maybe some of you are uh, like posting on tiktok or something like that but it feels like the time is sticking it's like almost there right it's it's happening really fast for you guys so let's take a look at your angel message here pile number two you guys have donations i do not know how to pronounce that word and charitable work Give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you. You know that your generosity will be returned to you many folds in miraculous ways. The time, supplies, money, or other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. So with this card, I would, uh, of course, there's the energy that you... It's like you support the people that you look up to because they're doing so much for you. That's kind of what I'm getting. Um, so again, I'm, I'm connecting this, that you guys will become like your idols. You guys will become like who you are inspiring to be. That's kind of what I'm getting from this message. Um, and it's like all of those people that have supported you, that have inspired you, um, right? Even if we don't, th those people maybe don't even know you. Maybe they're a person on the internet. Maybe they're a celebrity who in really inspired you to do something. And you really looked up to them. And throughout years and years and years, they were your idol. It feels like you guys are becoming like them. That's kind of what I'm getting. You're becoming like your idol. Like somebody who you really look up, looked up to. Pile number two is what I'm hearing here for you. So such a beautiful message. I hope that this resonated with you. If it didn't, please leave a like and a comment. And I hope to see you guys in my next reading. Bye, guys. Hello, my beautiful pile number three. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be a reading today about what is the mysterious message that you need to receive at this moment. So let's begin by shuffling your cards, pile number three. If you want to skip this part, then I will leave the timestamp for you in the description. So let's see what mysterious message needs to come through for pile number three today spirit what do you want to tell pile number three today oh i feel like that card wants to come out for you 
Let's see, what is your mysterious message? Pile number three. Let's get these three. And let's get read this one as well. Okay. Let's get some oracles now for you. What is the mysterious message that you need to hear today? Like taking this one and this one. Okay. Mysterious message for pile number three. Ooh, okay. Actually, let's shuffle a little more. I was a little bit unsure about that card. Let's see. Pile number three. Mysterious message. Meant to find you. Let's get this one. Okay. Mysterious message for pile number three. Okay. Let's get from this deck as well. Pile number three, spirit. What mysterious message do you want to give to them today? Mysterious message for pile number three. Okay, and let's get an angel message for you to finish your reading. So, what is the message, mysterious message for pile number three today, Spirit? I feel like taking this one. Okay. Have your cards now and let's get into your reading pile number three i'm super excited you guys have to the moon and back card here and i'm, I'm getting a lot of purity with your pile okay a lot of pure intentions a lot of innocence honesty is what i'm picking up here but i want to take a look at your tarot cards to get your message okay let's see what is your message for today slowing down okay very interesting this is the page of pentacles, I, th I feel, yeah. Okay, so I'm hearing slowly but surely you're getting there. That's what I'm hearing. Slowly but surely you're getting there. Flowering. This is the queen of pentacles. Yeah, look at this. The page of, or this is the knight. Wait, this might be the knight of pentacles. I'm so sorry. Um, I always kind of get these cards a little bit confused, but it's the, I believe this is the Knight of Pentacles and then the Queen of Pentacles. So you're like slowly getting to your abundance, right? Slowly but surely. You have projections, the Seven of Cups. Interesting. You have stress, the Seven of Wands. Wow. And you have adventure. Okay, so this is the Page of Pentacles. Wow. Your message is very clear, pile number three. I see that you have very big goals in mind. Okay, very big goals, very big dreams. Maybe you have a lot of them, right? But I see that you have... You, it's like you're... Um, the Seven of Cups, it's always about like our daydreams, our manifestations. And I feel like... Um, there's a lot that you need to do. There's a lot on your plate right now. And you might have um, kind of expected to, for things to move more fast for you is what I'm getting. But you might be feeling stressed because you're not moving as fast as you wanted to. Uh, because there is that energy, you know, with slowing down. You're slowly getting somewhere, right? Step by step by step, you're getting there. But... Um, Maybe it's causing you to feel stressed because you're not achieving your dreams and your goals as fast as you anticipated, okay? That's kind of what I'm feeling here for you. And maybe this is causing you to think that you're doing the wrong things or you're on the wrong path. But Spirit is saying to you that you're on the right path, you're doing the right thing, but you need to give yourself more time is what I'm hearing, pile number three. Um, because with the Queen of Pentacles, 
you will become you will get to that wealth that you desire you will get to that career position that you desire you will get to where you to your stability in, in your life to where you desire to be right whatever this manifestations this these dreams mean to you you will get there one day but don't stress thinking that you're getting there too slowly um i'm hearing just like you need to give yourself more time especially if you're a beginner at something with adventure you might be doing something new here you might be starting a new project you're gonna need to give yourself more time in the beginning to kind of get the routine going get the grip of it kind of create a routine regarding it and uh, the in the beginning things might move slowly but you need to give yourself that time you need to give yourself the time to be a, a beginner at something and not stress if things are moving fast enough that's what i'm hearing because i feel like with you you might feel like you're running out of time but um that almost is even maybe slowing you down because when you're stressed about things you maybe um you know it's it's kind of hard to think clear-mindedly when you're in a rush and you're trying to multitask and do multiple things at once it's much better to maybe focus on one thing at a time is what i'm hearing for you and give each each thing um its required need of time to develop and that's what i feel like your message is today pile number three let's see your oracles you have the unexpected okay so interesting and you have purity wow i said in the beginning i feel i'm feeling very pure energy from you look at this white here and the white here so um you might feel a little bit uncertain to how you're gonna get to your goals how you're gonna get to your dreams um it might seem even a little bit impossible because this person has the veil on their eyes but i see that your intentions are very pure and your dreams are very much possible. But you're going to need to give yourself more time, pile number three. And not rush it. Don't rush. I'm hearing you're in no rush because you will get to your dreams. And you are on the right path. But you don't need to rush it. You also have poverty. I feel like you guys are feeling like things are taking too much time. Like... Things are taking forever. It feels like with the poverty card. Um, you feel like your abundance is not coming fast enough. And I feel like uh, because you're in this mindset, maybe that's what's blocking it to come your way. I feel like it might have to do also with your mindset. Um, it's like when you're when you're attracting money in your life, you cannot feel like you lack it. Like you don't have it. Like, uh, you cannot stress about it. I know it's kind of hard to understand how, but it's by automatically stressing about it and feeling like you don't have it, then that's blocking it from coming in your life. So to me, it feels like you guys need to kind of work on your mindset maybe even a little bit. Because also, usually when you feel stressed and you're running out of time, you're... um. It again, it, it gives the universe the single that you, you're not ready because you don't trust the universe. You're like, why am I not seeing results? Why am I not seeing results? So you're affirming you're not seeing results, right? And that's what's blocking your manifestation from coming to you. So it feels like you also kind of, it feels like you are at the beginning of something because you are feeling this way, which is totally understandable. It might feel a little bit overwhelming, uh, but... You need to give it time. You need to give it time is what I'm hearing. You also have... Go with the flow, yeah. I feel like you guys are stressing yourself because you try to over-control the situation. And Spirit is saying to give it time. Go with the flow. Stop trying to control it so much. And you also have meditation for clarity, yeah. Yeah, it feels like you guys like just want to see the signs. You want to see you want to see it in real life. You want to see it happen. You want to see it you want to you want proof that it will happen. It feels like. But if you're at the beginning of something like that, you know, the beginnings are always 
kind of the hardest because you need to believe a lot and you need to have a lot of faith that things are going to work out as long as you put in the work and you take the correct steps forward. Um, so it is a, uncertain for you guys, right? With the veil, again, it does feel like you lack a bit of clarity and that's why you're being so stressed because it feels like you cannot control the situation. Uh, but I feel like what you need to hear today is to be more in flow. And don't stress so much. Don't stress because you don't have something. Because, again, that automatically puts you in an energy that you don't have it. Which is, like, totally the complete opposite of what you need to what you need in order to manifest something. And I oftentimes hear it, like, from people complaining, Oh, but I'm believing, but my manifestation is not coming true. If you're saying that you're believing, but it's not coming true, then you're not believing. You're just kind of lying to yourself that you're believing. Believing like one day and then not the next day, that's not believing in it. That's, you're wavering, you're doubting it. You need to believe it every day. Before you go to sleep, after you wake up, in every case and area, you need to keep believing in it. You also have, look at this, luck is on your side. So you're doing the right thing, pile three, but you just need more time. That's what I feel. You need more time and you need to um, not try to get things like the next day right that's what it feels like the energy is gaining momentum so what you guys are working on the steps that you're putting in the work that you're putting in is is kind of like building up that's what i'll say it's not for nothing it's building up and building up and building up and again um every day doing it every day is what's going to get you there but um you need to be consistent and you need to give it time and, and release the control, release the stress. You also have poise. So you will succeed at this. Where you're trying to succeed, your dream, you will, pile number three. Spirit is confirming that with you today. Luck is on your side. The path that you want to take is made for you, is for you. But you're going to need to um, work on your mindset. I feel like you guys need to work on your mindset here. And you also have soulmates. So again, I'm getting what you want, wants you as well. It's meant for you with soulmates. It's meant for you. And just because things are meant for us, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen overnight. But the journey, you will notice the journey is going to be very synchronized. There's these like blessings and miracles, right? Luck is on your side. It feels like the universe is supporting you in what you're doing. That's how you know you're on the right path. Because there is like along the way you experience miracles, you experience blessings, good luck. It's like the synchronicities of like things happen at the right time. How did this happen? This cannot be a coincidence, right? So it feels like you guys are getting the support from the universe. That you are on the right path to achieve your goals and dreams. But sometimes you might doubt it a little bit. And I'm hearing that you're going to need to fix that. Okay, let's see your angel message to end your reading. You have, it is safe for you to receive. Wow. So it, it, it almost feels like the you're kind of even doubting that you're worthy of receiving it, right? Um, it's kind of, again, what I was saying. It's like you guys believe it one day, but then the next day you're like, why am I not seeing the progress? And that is that mindset that you need to work on. You need to believe it every day. Even if the circumstances show otherwise, you need to believe it every day. And I feel like Spirit is coming in to tell you it is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it is as it blesses the world. So... What you guys desire, you will receive it, is what I'm hearing. But you're going to need to work on your mindset because I see that your mindset might be switching every day. You might be wavering. So you need to not do that. You need to persist, is what I'm hearing, poll number three. So that's what I have for your message today. I hope that this resonated with you. If it didn't, please leave a like and a comment. And I hope to see you guys in my next reading. Bye, guys.